So as soon as I got through the mountain pass, ready to get back to Whistler, I get a phone call from Barrett Christie. She's an ex-pro snowboarder and now she does marketing at GNU Snowboards. So she and one of the other pro snowboarders, Caitlin Farrington, were gonna go to Baker to shoot because it was dumping like 60 centimeters and they were calling for a bluebird day the next day. The best shooting conditions possible. Normally I would jump at the chance. Not only was like, Bear Christie calling. <laughs> but I love working with Caitlin. Everything was perfect, except for I had none of my gear. I don't like doing a shoot when I'm unprepared. Luckily, Barrett totally hooked it up. Within the span of about five minutes, my plans changed completely. Yay! <laughs> so pretty! Eight, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I look at walking with these masks. It's like drip walking. Oh, yeah. You're not in the stage. <laughs> you're like looking all in. Hiking, shooting on resort. I mean, it's definitely a good thing I prepped. Because this is not an easy day one. Not sure if it's harder than flooding hiking. I haven't decided. We'll see. Three or four more days. I absolutely love shooting with Caitlin. She's so positive, so much fun. She just loves riding and it really sucks because right after she won gold in the 2014 sochi olympics caitlin found out that she has cyanosis i have to avoid high impact stuff yeah. and so that's why they say don't leave the ground because chances are if something goes wrong it's going to be a high impact right a lot of people have it like is it something um, that like a bunch of people, people develop it a lot of the time, like a lot of older, older right? people get lumbar stenosis yeah. and that's lower back and they develop it and then a lot of football players develop it through yeah. so much high impact and whiplash oh, and so crazy. they're very common, like a lot of football players have to retire because they get stingers yeah. is what they call them yeah. and that's essentially what I had that showed my stenosis. What's yeah. a stinger? Um, you lose feeling from the neck down. Oh, gnarly. And, like, I was born with mine. Nobody, we just had no idea. No, how would you know? You can only see it through imagery. And so it was just, like, kind of like a fluke that I made it as far as I did without having a stinger before. Yeah. They're like, I can't believe we've never seen this before. Now that I've had one. Yeah. And I herniated a disc in my stenosis area. Yeah. I'm more sensitive. Successful, yeah, to them, and so like they've wanted to do surgery since my first. What would surgery do? Um, they want to hollow my spine out, but chances are, scary. Ch literally, scary. the chances of me like walking out of it lower than 50%, probably. Fuck Why do they want to do it so that so that I like because I'm a high risk paralysis patient, like. So, like my argument doctors are like you can never snowboard again I was like so you're saying I can't get in a car again yeah you can't, like do anything yeah do <laughs> like, anything it's amazing to see Caitlin just like still loving snowboarding and still just 
going for it. She just doesn't leave the ground while doing it. Day two of the shoot, clouds had rolled in and it had started snowing again. So great, a ton more snow, but we could not see a thing. Hey yo. A little scraped out, but I think it's not too bad. Oops, sorry, Sandy. Oh, you okay, bud? <laughs> Getting to the locations. Baker's amazing and crazy. If you don't know where you're going, you can get clipped out in a second. And there was one little track that we had to catch, and it was crossing this cliff line, basically. There was ice under a little bit of snow, and so my edge didn't catch. Shit. Not in a good spot. <laughs> True. If you can go here and give me a little hand. Okay. Thanks. It's like I'm not gonna let go. All right. Good job, <laughs> So it ended up being like a great first two days shooting on the resort. Today, quick trip shoot to Baker has now turned into four. The conditions have been insane. So much powder, so awesome. And I just have kept shooting. And there's more snow here than in Whistler. So as my classic season goes, following the weather, I'm not home yet. Day five, delayed. But I mean, can I really complain? Ride the boat, ride the boat, Cause you and I'm on my mind right now. You know I've been working on it all day. Don't you feel my vibe, no baby, no way, way Baby, don't vibe The trip was again bluebird sunshine, deep snow, just perfect conditions. And Barrett Christie's husband, Temple Cummings, had come to town, and he's known as the Billy Goat because he can hike further and faster than anyone, basically. He's just a machine. And so Caitlin and I knew that if we were gonna ride with them, we better be able to keep up. Again, perfect test to see if I was in good enough shape. And it turns out we all just like rode together the entire day. That's amazing. <laughs> <It's so good. laughs> the last run of the day was one of the best runs of my entire life. So sick. We had to kind of hike out. worth it and at the very end temple comes up to caitlin and i like totally surprised and i don't know if you can hear it from the clip but he was like do you guys like skin a lot or whatever he's like how are you keeping up <laughs> so amazing best comment i think i've ever received another great day that last round was Oh, 